In this third video in the SCM trial series, you'll see how to monitor certificates in the SCM dashboard and how to use custom notifications to manage and automate certificate life cycles. Now that we've run a successful discovery scan and uploaded some security certificates manually, the dashboard reflects data about those certificates. Dashboard data is updated in real time and gives you a visual snapshot of the status of your certificates. Let's do a quick tour. Across the top, you can see summary information for server, client, code signing, and device certificates, including the total number of each, how many are active or revoked, and how the numbers have changed since last month. You can filter the next section by organization, department, or time period to review certificate data in different categories, including expiring certificates, which are color-coded by origin, DCV expiring domains, and a summary of SSL certificate types managed, meaning they were issued through the SCM. Scroll down for more categories, including issued and requested certificates, breakdown of certificates by issuer, DCV status, key strength, and many others. While limited certificate data is available in this trial demonstration, it is easy to understand how useful these charts will be when fully populated in a live environment. Click the chart icon in any of these subsections to view a report with a more detailed breakdown of statistics. You can also hover over or click graphical elements like legends and chart sectors to view pop-ups with more information or to filter what data is displayed. Now let's look at how to set up notifications. Customized notifications make it easy to stay on top of certificate and lifecycle management tasks in a high volume environment. Notifications make sure the right people know what they must do and when they must do it by to keep your system secure. On the Settings tab in SCM, click Notifications and then click Add. For this demonstration, we'll set up a daily notification to begin 30 days prior to SSL certificate expiration. On the Create Notification window, select an option from the Notification Type menu. Here we'll select SSL expiration. Type a description so your notification is easy to identify from a list. For the organization department, the Any checkbox is marked by default. We will leave this as is, but note that clearing the checkbox lets you choose specific organizations and departments. You can select a certificate profile here if you like, but for this demonstration, we will leave the default any. Specify the days in advance to notify. For the frequency, you can choose to be notified once or daily. If you choose daily, the notification will be sent by email every day until the certificate in question is renewed. Now specify who gets notified. The owner is the SCM administrator who approved the certificate. Requester is the person who requested the certificate. MRAO Admin is the highest level administrator in SCM and your administrator status in this trial. RAO Admin is the next level down with similar privileges. And finally, DRAO are department level admins. It's worth pointing out that if you have a mailing list of people who should also be notified, you can add the required email addresses in the subscribers field. For this demonstration, however, we'll just choose MRAO. When you're done, click OK. The new notification now appears in the list. If you've been following this video series, you've seen how to pull existing security certificates into SCM, monitor certificates in the dashboard, and manage certificate lifecycle tasks with custom notifications. If you're ready to set up a private CA in your trial SCM and start exploring how to enroll certificates against it, view the next video in the series. If you're ready to upgrade to the full version of SCM, contact Sales. And if you're looking for more detailed information about using the trial SCM, refer to the Sictigo Certificate Manager Trial Quick Start Guide in the Sictigo Knowledge Base online.